Hello friends, this video on factorization part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now that we have learned how to do factorization of algebraic expressions, let's also see how do we perform division with algebraic expressions. So here you see some complex algebraic expressions, some were monomials, some were polynomials, which are getting divided by another monomial or polynomial. So let's learn how exactly do we perform these kind of division. So first we will start with the simple ones. So we will start with monomial divided by monomial. So as we all know monomial is an algebraic expression with one term. Okay. So here are the steps that we will follow with one example. So the example that we have taken is 24xy square z cube which is a monomial divided by 6y z square which is again a monomial. So the first step is write each term as a product of irreducible factors. Again, the same thing. So let's do the first step. So 24xy square z cube can be written as now prime factor is 24. So you can write it as 2 into 2 into 3 into 2 into x into y into y into z into z into z. So this is how you would factor, uh, write the factors of 24xy square z cube. Now let's look at the second term which is 6yz square. So this can be written as 2 into 3 into y into z into z. Perfect. Fine. Now let's do the proper division. So that is our step number 2. So in step number 2 what do we do? 2 into 2 into 3 into 2 into x into y into y into z into z into z. This entire thing divided by 2 into 3 into y into z into z. Now we all know that if you divide a number by the same number, what do you get? You get 1. For example, you divide 12 by 12. So you get 1. Similarly, you divide x by x, you get 1. So what do we call this? We say that x, the numerator and the denominator gets cancelled to give 1. Similarly, here the numerator and denominator gets cancelled to give 1. So the same thing happens here. So you have a 2 in the numerator, a 2 in the denominator. So they get cancelled. 3, 3 gets cancelled. Y, Y gets cancelled. Z, Z gets cancelled. One more Z, one more Z gets cancelled. So what are you left with? You are left with 2 into 2 into X into Y into Z. So this is equal to 4X, Y, Z. So this is the result of division of these two, poly these two monomials. So this is how we basically divide. Okay, so let's get make it a little more complex that is now we are going to divide a polynomial with a monomial that is polynomial is basically an algebraic expression with multiple terms. Okay, so let's look at this. So here you have a, a polynomial which is actually a binomial because it has two terms and now you divide it with a monomial that is an algebraic expression with one term. Perfect. So here also we will do the same thing but in this case what one important thing that need to be noticed is this is 5x square minus 6x divided by 3x. So the main important thing to be noticed here is this thing means that 3x is the denominator but by, for both of these numerators that is 5x square by 3x minus 6x by 3x. This is what it means. So whenever we write 5x square minus 6x divided by 3x, it means 5x square by 3x minus 3, 6x by 3x. So now what do you have? So this first term is a monomial divided by monomial. The second term also is a monomial divided by monomial and you already know how to handle these. So how to handle these? We write each term in the factor form. So 5x square can be written as 5 into x into x and in the denominator you have 3 into x, 6x can be written as 2 into 3 into x and in the denominator you have 3x, right? So here x and x will get cancelled and here 3 and 3 will get cancelled, x and x will get cancelled. So you are left with 5x by 3 minus 2. So this is the result of division. So here also the common factors get cancelled during division and that's how you arrive at the result of division. Now finally the third 
category polynomial divided by polynomial so this is like the most complex category of all the three so this time again your process will still remain the same if you look at steps one and two the process is still the same it is just that you have uh, bigger expressions so let us handle one by one so this is our first example so you have y squared plus 7y plus 10 divided by y plus 5. So how do we handle this? So now if you look at the numerator, so let us first try to factorize the numerator because the numerator has quadratic terms, linear terms, constants. So let's try to factorize the numerator because in the denominator we have y plus 5. So there is a possibility that if we factorize the numerator, we might have something in the form of like y plus 5 or y plus 7 or y plus 1. So there is a possibility that the, there, there might be some cancellation between numerators and denominators to, to make our job simpler. Okay, so let's do that. So how do we factorize this? Again, we have learned the four different methods of factorization. So what do you think? In which method will this fit into? So you have three terms. One is a perfect square, that is y squared, but 10 is not a perfect square. So here we will take help of the type 4 that is the special identity one where we have learned that x plus a into x plus b is equal to x squared plus a plus b into x plus a into b. So let's see if we can make this fit into this. So y squared plus 5 plus 2y plus 5 into 2. So yes this fits perfectly in this form. So this can be written as here a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 2. So this becomes x plus a that is y plus 5 into x plus b that is y plus 2. And in the denominator we have y plus 5. So here if you see in the numerator you have y plus 5 as one factor and denominator also you have y plus 5. So this entire y plus 5 and y plus 5 will get cancelled out. So you are left with y plus 2 which is the result of this division. Now remember one thing in this case y plus 5 and y plus 5 got cancelled because both of them were factors like both of them were in the form of multiplication in the numerator and the denominator but if you have something like uh, let's say instead of this if you had something like y plus 5 plus 1 divided by y plus 5 in that case can you cancel y plus 5 and y plus 5 no you cannot cancel why because in this case y plus plus 5 is not a factor y plus 5 plus 1 this whole thing is like one term because this means y plus 6 so this is basically y plus 6 by y plus 5 so in this case you just can't cancel y plus 5 and y plus 5 so please note that point okay now let's move on to the next polynomial divided by another polynomial so here it is 5 into 2x plus 1 into 3x plus 5 divided by 2x plus 1. So do you think we can cancel 2x plus 1 numerator and denominator? Yes, that's because again 5 into 2x plus 1 into 3x plus 5. So that's like product of these three numbers. So there you can definitely cancel these two and therefore your result would be 5 into 3x plus 5. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.